Hey guys, welcome to Crimson Cauldron. We are gonna teach you how to solo this quest. This one it's gonna be a bit of a toughie since it's kind of like Golden Trophy but way more harder. Um, we're gonna tell you what things spawn and how to handle those situations. Um, without further ado, let's get started and get into the video. I'll put you guys into POV so I can give you some gameplay so obviously you want to grab yourself the bow it's like the best weapon um let's go so castle courtyard i like to do this side first you know i might just go into normal pv i like to do this side first because there's less enemies over here so I'll, I'll work on this guy over here and these two shield guys will come over to you and I didn't I forgot to mention that I'm gonna be doing this in single shot and from this um, rock over here you shoot these guys there's another mortar up there and you'll get some ground goblins And there's like a 50-50 chance if you go past around that line you'll spawn in a red flyer and a normal one that we did this time. We took those out. Next up, when you get here, you get mortar. Another mortar like over here and like a bunch of shield goblins. So my best idea is to kill that mortar, try not to awaken those guys and kill them pop out get some pop shots off if you can't and just run um, the best spot is up here try and take the mortar out because otherwise it will deal you so much pain and you can just basically rain arrows on these guys although it will be a slower way And just the last guy. Oh yeah, how you do it? On to the forest. You will get three goblins, and if you take one of them out, you will get two more flies and three more goblins. So take the flyers out that's probably the biggest priority taking the flyers out once you get to that um tree stump you'll get six normal flyers all around here so you have this um some this ground here to cover they can't get past this tree stump so you are completely fine just staying back here the strafing of your head as they do only aim for your head once you get past here, you will start 10 second uh, spawn for 3 waves of flies. The first wave will have 6 normal flies, the second wave will also have 6 normal, and the first wa third wave will have 3 normal and 2 red. So, I run, go into this cabin, get around 2 double damage potions. Just throw them down here because that's where you're going to be. And they are spawned. Drink the double damage potion. Here we get the second wave. And here's the third wave. Watch out for those guys. Drink, drink another one if you need to. That's why we brought two. And we've done that bit. I like to go down here instead of down there, so it's more better. You'll get a couple of goblins up on this stage. What I like to do is just hit this barrel. That takes most of them out. When you get two red guys, best thing to do is just run, get up somewhere high. 
And you also spawn three rounds of some goblins. First wave, just some normal ones. Second wave, is when you kill all of these guys. You will get basically the same thing, but one of the goblins will be red. Just take them out as quickly as possible, and like a couple seconds later, you'll get four flyers. And they can spawn anywhere from here. Here. And here. Oh, yeah. Get this. You will get a uh, mortar over there. So, take it out. That's so. When you get here or here, you spawn four goblins. And taking out two of them will spawn in the second wave, which will also be two goblins. And then the third wave. We'll also spawn four goblins and three flies. If you feel overwhelmed, run away. There's the last guy. Dead. Right. Moving up once you get past his um, tree. You spawn in two waves that are two flies and two goblins. They are both the same on each wave. I like to put a stun in all of them. And then kill the last wave. Like that. Coming down here, you spawn three waves of six flies again. Uh, the first wave you spawn six normal ones, the second will also be six normal ones, and if you take four of the second wave out, you'll spawn in three red flies. So I'm actually going to this little corner here. The best. Or if you don't feel like that's safe enough for you, um, you can just run back to where we were normally. Just shoot from here. It uses double damage potion as well. That you picked up if you haven't used it yet. Oh my gosh, guys! Stop hiding behind a tree. Okay, we've got um the red guys now. Can't shoot today. Uh. They're getting a little bit in my area, so I'm going to back up a bit. Use this tree as cover. And we are done with the second level. Look at you go. Alright, capsite. You've got two mortars and three goblins. I like to try and aim for this. And they will summon more, like five more. Let's do hit that one there, and they're dead. But if you don't have bad, if you have bad aim, then just shoot them from there. And then after that, you want to make your way over here because you're going to get some more guys. Drink a double damage potion. There's plenty here. Get four red guys, and you'll also get some mortars. Taking these out. We'll get you some flies over here. So this area is kind of the best area to be in. Once you take this flyer out, you're going to get a mortar up on that pedal stool, and I'm going to get some goblins either here or here. There's like around six or seven of them. So I like to take this guy out. Despite him not being like that, not falling down. Uh, you can use pots against these guys. That was close. But it does like half damage. And once you take like three quarters of this wave out, you're gonna get a mortar over there and three more red goblins back at the starting area. So you'll get your mortar over there.
and you'll get a few spawn over here. Just take it out as fast as you can. Kind of got too close. Come on, bro. As they're coming too close, you can make travel array around to the other side and get them from here. Just move all out of the way and off the fireball. And you're done, just like that. Moving on to deep forest. Uh, you're gonna get introduced to some new enemies where you need to use your sword against them. Hit them like that. Same with this guy, and then you'll get four, five, I mean, normal goblins, and taking like three of these out will give you two more witches. They can either spawn back to where they were, they did spawn before, or over here. It's quite dynamic. Make sure you always have the sword in front of you because if they glitch out, then the sword can save you. Up there, you'll get two mortars. And down here, you will get three shield guys. I like to take them out before they make them way up. That's the case, if, or if that's not the case, then you can stand here and they can't really get you. Unless they are little cheaters and they get your spear. Your spear through the thing. Um, if you jump off and then jump back on, you can summon this wave instead of going all the way down there. It will get some goblins and taking like half of these out. It will give you two shield goblins. Get some double damage potions on the ready. Get ready to drink one, because if you pass this bog or lake, you'll get five flies and taking three of them out will give you five goblins. Once you take these goblins out, you're gonna get five red goblins. They can either spawn over here, here, or there. So as soon as you've got one in there, and there. That was too close for comfort. Don't do what I did. Once you take these guys out, you're gonna get two more witches. Take them out. And you'll get two more. Okay, just double damage potion. There's a 50% chance you'll get a barrel here. Not so lucky this time. Aim for this explosive. I'll take that guy out. And then once you anger these guys, they're gonna spawn two red goblins. So, it's probably best to get up somewhere high. Taking one of those guys out will give you... Four more normal ones. And these guys... They're sometimes really dumb, they can't see you. Alright, here's why you need to get a double damage potion on the ready, because this room is going to be quite packed. I like to put one over here, and I like to use the double damage potion on this barrel. So let's... Just go crazy. Get some more over here. And I think one more red guy. I often got him. Um, if you get past this, you will spawn in some more goblins back over here. Taken out most of them will give you two, three, four more. Taken half of them will spawn in some guys over here, over there, all over the place. So. 
This is where I need to get your. This is where I need to get my and potion. Okay, we got one. Just like that, that's how you, that's the easiest way to deal with them. And now we are at the bog. You're doing well so far. You get six flies across the bog. This is why you need your bow and arrow, or you can use this wand. But screw that. Once you take three of these guys, you're gonna just get six more flies. Have this nice long walk right here. Just straight for the bullets. Just be careful to not strafe into one that you strafed 10 seconds ago. We got four goblins taking two of these guys out. We'll give you some mortars up on here and you'll get some more goblins. Isn't that cool? See how good your aim is today and this is like an aim trainer. Oh my god. No. Nope. Need after quest. Alright, let's make a way downtown. Alright, coming over here, you spawn six flies, and killing half of them will spawn a witch over here. So I'll just like to take them as they're falling. Get your sword on the ready. And you've got two more after that. And here you'll be getting some booby trouble because these boobies are very glitchy. Just hope they don't, don't glitch on me. Just build your pathway to the other side. And you're three to the river. Find your pots. Just go crazy. Boom. Let's put some floaties over here. Once you pass this, you'll get mortar up here. And three flies across this bog over here. So, take this guy that's falling down. And be careful for these flies. Hook you. Walking up, you get three goblins spawning on this platform over there. And you'll get two red goblins and three normal. No, two and two. Um, best strap is not to is to not be where I am right now. It's just to run back, to be honest, because it's quite risky being there. I know I do it all the time, but that's me. Just stay back here, though, because you're gonna get a hell lot of flyers. Taking four of these out will give you four more. Isn't that cool? Nearly got them all, and after a little bit, you'll get two red goblins and a mortar, which can spawn either on that pedestal or that one, and got over there, which is a little bit harder because we can normally just get from there, but it's quite hard to get from here. Okay, easy as pie have this one lone little fly left walking up you'll get two more witches taking one of them out will spawn two more try and take both of them out at the same time and once you take one of these two you'll spawn three more witches and two flyers so I like to back up 
Look at the flies. Again, if they're overwhelming you, make your way back. Because that's what we're going to do in a minute. What? BS. Alright. Now we are going here. The bottom monster. Best thing to do is to spawn it and run. But just like this. Stand on the pad, run. If you're brave enough, you can stay back there. But I don't know, I'm definitely not. Shovel down with damage potion. Just go crazy, man. Oh, he's taken off. He's not supposed to do that. Huh, he took off. That's funny. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. Okay. Moving up. Watch out for the steam. We get two goblins. I'm walking into this room. We got two more. And some mortars. Take them out from here. They can't get you from here. Unless they make their way towards you. And they might work their way towards you, the two goblins. Use this barrel to kill any. That's kind of a bad one. Because I killed no one. You'll get four flies if you kill someone from waters. And there was these four guys playing table tennis over here. Get this double damage potion. And get another stock up on them, man. We need them. If you get down this staircase, you'll spawn a bunch of shield, guys. This is why we need them. And you'll get some barrels over there, try and take them out before your potion runs out. And you also get a mortar up there. Alright. Once you take this guy out, you might get some stuff over here, so watch out. We'll get some goblins and then take and build them out. We'll get you some more goblins and a few shield guys. Make sure you have plenty of potions. Go on, say hello to this guy. And say hello to this guy. Or not, because he just decides to take the long way around. Once you make your way down here, you'll spawn three goblins. Three red goblins that can either spawn there. They can spawn in that little cave over here. And or they can spawn in there. So best thing to do is to shoot any. Oh yeah, I forgot that the shield guy. Oh, got them all. <laughs> um, once you kill them, you'll get some flies. Three rounds of them. The third, the third wave will give you two red flies. Taking a bit out from each wave, obviously. Start the second. Where's my other potion? You can use this uh, ramp here, just like alternate. Oh, 
and take that guy out and you're done. I'm going to get myself another double damage potion for the ride, or two, if there's extra. I think we'll use them all, haven't we? No, it's one more. It's one more. Let's go. Probably the last one. Gonna use it wisely. It's so dark in here. Be careful of the smoke. You do not want to get killed by the smoke by any means necessary. Okay. You get some guys over here. Watch out for the smoke. Try to aim for the spout, if not, drink the double damage potion that you should have on your back. Boom, that will dead. If that does happen, you can just walk your way back. Just watch out for the steam. Here is where the fun begins. You get the red guy over here. Check him out. I'm gonna get some more over there, I like to take these guys out. And I like to wake both of these barrels up. This one is the one you want to take out first. Because if you take this one out, you spawn a bunch of ground goblins. If you take the other one out, you're gonna spawn a bunch of flies. And you do not want to do that. Let's take that out. Hey, explode the barrels necessary they are your friends again you can just stop oh that guy isn't supposed to wake up and he did that guy normally he doesn't wake up and you can just shoot this owl here to kill him that wasn't the case. He won't spawn anything. Watch out for the lava, do not fall in that. You'll get mortar over here, and some flies, and two red guys. I like to get the mortar. If you if you're bad at aiming and you don't think you can get that, um Explode this barrel here. <laughs> and you might wake up these guys. If that's the case. Run. I've all this ground to cover, man. And we have one more fly. Walking up. Towards here, you'll get three shield guys. Taking two of these guys out will give you a surprise of two red flies. Um, no, don't expect that barrel yet. Once one, once one of these guys are dead, then you can explode that barrel. And once you take all the flies out, you're going to get a bunch of goblins that can spawn in this cave, that cove, and over here. Jump to these boxes, these are like, the best. Once you take four from the first wave, you're basically going to get the same. Do not go in this blue corner, whatever you do, you want to be killed. And... Once you take four of the second wave out, you're going to get three barrels. Yes, three barrels over there. Look at that. Take these barrels out. Or oh, goblins. Use these explosive barrels to take these barrels out. Just wait for the time. Once you take that out, you're going to get chaos. This is why I saved the double damage potion. Just run back. I don't know where that fly is going. Oh, 
Where? Yeah, where's my guy going? <laughs> ah, that level is finished. Moving on to the next. Bell tower status. Take this barrel out, explosive one, once the time is perfect. Just like that. You wanna gap up along here. And it will get angered to shoot that barrel because you will, that will um, spawn two red barrels, two red guys. And you can just kill them like that. And here you have some dice. Come on, roll seven. One more. Nope, no luck. Alright, coming up the stairs. You will spawn three red guys here. This is why I saved that barrel. Because you're going to need it. So I run. Run. There you hear him spawn. Shoot the barrel. And the time's perfect. Now. Quickly run up to this ladder. Because you need to get all the way up. Well, not all the way up. Just a good... I mean, a good height. And just rain arrows on them. And you'll get some flies. They can't really get you through this. This is like a hitbox. But try and take them out before the goblins come up. Cause yeah, you'll get a bunch more. If you're getting overwhelmed, just hide. Strain arrows. seem to be like collecting together over there so like, this is like a good strike if you stand over here they'll just ride their way down just rain arrows and then just shoot that barrel for the last wave The last guy. Just moving up. Is that? Oh, hello. What happened to you? Okay. Now we can go up the ladders. Again, just follow that tip, just run up to that ladder. Use this, this is a sweet spot. They all clench up in this stage. You can't see because this is in the way. It's perfect. Now for the witch. Get yourself a sword or two. Because this, this witch is basically like the witch enemies. But it's a little bit different. Wake her up. Hey, wakey, wakey, and get your sword on the ready. Just always have it in front of your face. It'll take three blows for it to um, give up, and you'll get three mortars. One over there, one over there, and like one over here. Taking two of the three will we'll make her come back. Just use this wall as cover. If she gets too close, which she is, run to the other side. Alright, let's get this mortar. Yeah. Four blows for the next wave and the final wave. 
This will get a little bit hectic. Just hide behind this wall. Can't really get at you. Just take out the main priority. Are the flyers really? Taking some of them out, spawning some enemies. Basically, all the types. Just hide behind here while just spamming your arrows. If you are getting overwhelmed, run to the other side. There's still a guy over there. Got him. Oh, there's still a guy over there as well. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, now we cleared it. Four more hits. And the witch is dead. Booyah. Just like that. That's how you do it. Look at that wonderful S rank. Also, a little tip, also, a little fun fact. That is the pre game lobby over there, so you can shoot your arrows, say your highs. But they won't reach. Ready to start. Me neither. Oh, that is it for the solo tutorial for Crimson. If you do enjoy, make sure you drop a sub if you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment down below, tell me your thoughts, and we'll see you in aisle.